What is science fiction? It has become a course of studies in universities and colleges since the 1970s, a genre now with classics of literature. And with these courses in universities and colleges, we now have a textbook. Science Fiction by Adam Roberts. I have the second edition from 2006. I found this to be a useful and concise look at the genre. So useful, in fact, that like a college student might do, I used a highlighter. Now, I know that's something that most book collectors don't like to do, but I'm using this as a resource. This is something I want to come back to and be able to find some of the important passages. For example, about the definition of SF. I have some highlights here. And I'd like to read some of them to you. It seems that this point of difference, the thing or things that differentiate the world portrayed in science fiction from the world we recognize around us, is the crucial separator between SF and other forms of imaginative and fantastic literature. The critic, Darko Suvin, has usefully coined the term novum, the Latin for new or new thing, to refer to this point of difference. The plural is nova. A little further on. The emphasis is on difference and the systematic working out of the consequences of a difference or differences of a novum or nova becomes the strength of the mode. Roberts looks at three different definitions. I'm just going to give you the one that comes from Darko Suvin. I'll put it on the screen so that you can linger with it. Darko Suvin in 1979 defined SF as a literary genre or verbal construct whose necessary and sufficient conditions are the presence and interaction of estrangement and cognition, and whose main device is an imaginative framework alternative to the author's empirical environment. That's the novum or nova. Cognition, with its rational logical implications, refers to that aspect of SF that prompts us to try and understand, to comprehend the alien landscape of a given SF book, film, or story. Estrangement is a term from Brecht, more usually rendered in English language criticism as alienation. In this context, it refers to that element of SF that we recognize as different, that estranges us from the familiar and the everyday. According to Suvin, both cognition and estrangement is necessary within a science fiction text. So to summarize, we have novum, the idea. We have cognition, the attempt to understand and estrangement, that alienation. SF can take us that one degree or 360 degrees difference from our world. To give you an understanding of the scope of this book, let's take a look at the table of contents. Chapter one, defining science fiction. We look at three definitions of SF and the difference, structural approaches and prediction and nostalgia. And the case study for the chapter is Frank Herbert's Dune. Chapter 2, The History of SF. We look at three possible histories, at least starting points for history of SF. There's the Long History, the Gothic History, and the Gernsbachian History. We talk about the Golden Age using Asimov as an example, SF in the 60s and 70s, and New Wave. Then we look at a case study for Star Wars, 1977, and Intertextuality. Chapter 3, SF and Gender, Feminist Science Fiction, Women and Aliens, and the case study for this chapter is Ursula K. Le Guin's The Left-Handed Darkness, 1969. Chapter 4, SF and Race, Representing Race, Race and Star Trek, Alien Abduction, and the case study for this chapter is Octavia Butler's Xenogenesis Trilogy. Here's the first novel of that trilogy. Dawn from 1987. Chapter 5, SF and Technology, Spaceships, Robots, and Cyberspace. The case study for this chapter is William Gibson's Neuromancer from 1984. And Chapter 6, Conclusion, Metaphor, Metaphor in the Literal, Rocour, and Religion. There is a bibliography and works cited where we have books such as the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction by Cluton Nichols, and Trillion Year Spree by Brian W. Aldiss and David Wingrove. And finally, there's an index, very handy if you're looking up something specific. 
Adam Roberts is professor of 19th century literature at Royal Holloway, University of London. He has published many books and articles on 19th century literature and science fiction. His SF novels include Salt, 2000, On, 2001, and Gratisil, 2006. I've read his novel, The This, from 2022. You can find a review on my channel. I'll put a link in the description for this video. So what is science fiction? Well, you could use Robert's book as a great place to start. For additional reading, you could read Dune, The Left Hand of Darkness, Dawn, and Neuromancer. If you want to get a little bit more into the history of science fiction, you could also read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End, Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers, and Isaac Asimov's The Caves of Steel. I found Robert's science fiction book to be a good, concise look at the topic. I wasn't sure about the conclusion, though. To me, that was the weakest chapter. The argument about metaphor seemed a bit out of place with the rest of the book. I give science fiction by Adam Roberts 8 out of 10. Have you taken a course in science fiction? What were your textbooks? Please comment below. Until next time, keep studying and keep reading.